Hey everyone, on today's episode we're going to show you how to change the steering wheel. Now the first thing you're going to want to do is open the hood. For those of you that have an airbag, I highly advise for you to unplug one of the either the negative or positive terminal on the battery. If you're having one of those older cars that don't have an airbag or just the option not having an airbag, I would just probably exclude this part and I would just focus on the fuse box right here and just take out the fuse that correlates with the air horn. And just to be safe, put a towel or paper in between. That way you won't get any connection. And now for the fun part. You gotta wait a good 30 minutes, or else that airbag can go off any minute, just to be safe. Now, once you've waited for 30 minutes, then you can start with the steering wheel. So let's start by removing the old one. In order to get the old steering wheel off, you're first gonna have to unscrew about three or two screws. In my case, there are only about two. These two screws are connected to the center wheel where the airbag is located. So let's get those two off, which are situated here and here. Right in there is a screw. In my case, it's a T30, so let's get that loose. It can happen that these bolts are extremely tight as they've never really been removed in its lifetime. So you might have to get an extension like that one and let's see if we can crack it. There we go. And once these screws are loose, you should be able to remove the airbag. Now it's important to note that there is usually one or two cables. They're intertwined with the horn and the airbag. Uh, those cables will have to be removed. And also, as you can see, there's a nut right there in the middle. It's already thankfully been marked before, but it's always good to mark it once more. That way you know where to place it back. As you can see, that yellow connector has been taken off. It was attached to here, uh, which engages the airbag, as you can see from this wire the right there. Uh, that needs to be removed. Uh, as you can see, there's still one more cable under here, which is attached to the back of this here. I'm going to try to get it off, and then I'm going to tackle that bolt. Now we can start to tackle the main bolt. That's going to be a size 17. Slot it in. I already loosened it. Okay. Once the bolt is a little bit loose, you're now going to want to shake that steering wheel as hard as you can. That way you won't have the bolt flying up at your face once you take the whole bolt out. And it's loose. Now keep bolting away. Now you can pull off the steering wheel just like I did. So now that the old one's off, Let's put the new one on. The main bolt goes there, and in my case, there are two holes here and here. And there are also some pins behind on the steering rack. Make sure those go back in. Put everything back the same way you put it out. So do remember what you do with your work. Now once everything is lined up again, you're ready to put the washers on with the bolts. Do remember to put them back in the same order. And the bolts. and tighten that bad boy up. Now before we go any further, put all the connectors back. Some people like to hastily put their steering wheel on and forget about the horn and the airbag, but we're all about safety and we're gonna promote that. So let's start off with the airbag. Make sure to put the cable back here in its proper socket, make it nice and snug. And now because this came with a little plastic bracket, put all the bolts, the holes back on the proper sides like so. Now, Let's place this connector back to the mainframe. Let's first connect these ones. Slot them in and put that back in its safe bracket. This plug right here will connect right up to that one. As you can see, it's now connected. I'm gonna do a little quick check. So that connector is up there, white ones in there and the airbags back in place. So now it should all fit back nice and snug to reveal the new airbag piece. The last two screws, here and here. And there you have it, a new steering wheel. Now let's put this back up on the battery. There it is, the final product. 
We gotta see if it works. Oh god. It does.